adventure? Okay. <laughs> Tell dad to hurry up. Say hurry up. Guys, welcome to Clarence Town. It's hard to believe that two years later, we are back at the exact same government dock where this whole dream really started. We were picked up here right around this same time, two years ago by our friend Freediver Steph to go on a charter and we anchored right out there where our boat is now. And it's just so cool to come here two years later on our own boat. And one thing we didn't do two years ago is explore the town. So today we're gonna to explore Clarence Town and we're excited to take you along. So as you can see behind me, the mail boat is here, which means everyone's getting their supplies. They're finishing up just right now and someone's getting a whole truckload of CMU block. Must be doing some construction. feeling we figured out where they're uh, bringing those blocks that just came off the mailboat. So when we went to the Raggeds, we told you that was small town, right? Clarence Town arguably is even smaller. There's only about maybe a hundred people who live here. And these are the offerings that they have here. There's churches, beaches, government complex, police station, the shipping dock, which we showed you with the mailboat. Shopping? I wonder what kind of shopping could be here. Community center, livestock. Well, I don't know if that means there used to be a mechanic or that sign's just really old. Fishing, marina, and anchorage. Sounds like a perfect place, right? Small town, but pretty much all you need here. How do you feel being back in the same town where this dream started two years ago? Um, you know, I haven't really thought about it in that sense very much, but really, I mean, it's pretty cool. Like, we didn't get to explore the island here very much because we were on a mission to do a lot of spearfishing. That was like our first real, like, I guess, introduction. Experience in the water. Yeah. Intro to free diving. Yeah, we did our, our intro to free diving. Dixie's pulling me all over the place, but we did our intro to free diving, and so we didn't truly, like, experience the town so i'm happy to be back here to do that but it's so cool to be back on our own boat right yeah. and real quick before we go any further i want to sh show you guys something real quick oh wow babe look baby sea turtle baby baby a baby baby yeah oh look at the baby baby right there little baby sea turtle Aww. look at that guy he's just like trying to swim upstream <laughs> Or something. I don't know what he's trying to do. How cool is that? It's like Emily and Cole. Trying to <laughs> swim upstream? <laughs> yeah, so what's really interesting about Clarence Town here, or even just like this entire island of Long Island, is it was originally developed, like many of the islands in the Bahamas, for sea salt. And that was what brought people here. That was the industry, was collecting sea salt. And you see, can see little canals throughout the island. These were actually dug out or probably used by, I would assume they used dynamite or something to, to blow them out. Um, and it was done by slaves. Like this was a huge salt plantation. And when they weren't harvesting sea salt, they were farming. So one of the really cool, just historical things about these islands, these, canals are still still here and they're still flowing water back and forth to the the salt ponds There goes the, block, the CMU block and it didn't go to that construction site, so I was wrong. So if you're in Clarence Town and you're looking for some quick groceries or 
bakeries. Erica's Bakery is the place to come. So we're gonna go inside. There's quite a few people here, but we're gonna show you around a little bit. Nope. Show you what we got. small uh, little shop. So kind of felt a little awkward walking around with the camera in there, but happy I got to show you guys. And uh, where are we off to now? We are going to oh, check no. out. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Start one more time. St. Peter and St. Paul's Catholic Church. It is a big landmark here in Long Island. Actually, the Twin Towers are um, really a great landmark for mariners guiding you into the harbor here. So it's really beautiful and I can't wait to show it to you. Behind me is St. Peter and St. Paul's Catholic Church. It was designed by Father Jerome Halls, who has since passed away and completed in 1947. Now the interesting thing about the designer of this church is that he was originally an Anglican priest and then later on converted to the Catholic faith. And what I think is so beautiful about this church is the two towers here. They're 40 foot high. You can climb to the top of them and see a 360 degree view. I'm assuming you can only do that on Sundays because the church is locked, but it is just such an incredible looking building. The color, the blue, it reminds me of something you would see maybe in Greece. Yeah. I think? Yeah. I, yeah. Absolutely. What is she doing? She's just hanging on to it. Sitting on the church steps. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> She's a good girl. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Do you like adventures? We're getting in our steps today. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed with this road. This is probably the nicest. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> this is the nicest road I've seen in, the, in all of the Bahama Islands that we've been to. <laughs> We're at the Clarence Town Public Cemetery. The sign has unfortunately fallen down, but uh, it's laying there. And uh, yeah, just down from the church here, and I don't know if uh, if there's any gravestones here that have any dates on them. It'd be kind of cool to see, huh? Looks like 1884 to 1960. January 16th, 1960. January 13th, 19. I think it's 1884. That is that. Yeah, that would make sense. So we're here at the site of St. Paul's Anglican Church, and this is what we understand to be the oldest church on the island. This church was built in 1884, and it was actually built by Father Jerome, who we later found out built the Roman Catholic Church after converting to Catholicism some years later. And this church is really cool because what you can see is it's, it's on the probably the highest peak here in Long Island, and it overlooks the ocean. There's just a couple houses on the ocean side here, but you can totally see out for miles and miles across the ocean here. And on top of that, all around the church is a cemetery. So I'm guessing this is a cistern for, our, for the water for the church here, because it looks like there's an old pump well here or handle well, and there's obviously some plumbing going into it. Just looks like a big concrete vat, if you will. Uh, and there, there's an old uh, bell on the other side there. And then back behind is actually, and around wrapping the other side is the cemetery. And some of these look to be dated back to the, 18, the late 1800s.
You guys know Emily did a news story on potholes once, and she was actually nominated for an Emmy, for an Emmy because of it. Still one of my most proud stories I've ever done. Was that, that was in Indiana? Yeah, in Indianapolis. Woo wee! As my grandfather used to say, my dogs are barking, which means my feet are tired. You know, we have been trying to rent a car here to go to other places on Long Island. Cole made some calls earlier today and everyone is booked. We called one place and they're like, yeah, we won't have a rental car until next month. What? This is crazy. We're still constantly, I think, surprised with just how different life is on an island. Like, how rare would it be to call a company in America and they'd be like, yeah, we don't have a rental car for a month. I mean, granted, I'm sure there's shortages at times, but for a month, that's wild. So we've done about all the walking we can stand today. We've definitely got our steps in, but we're really eager to take you to some of the other great places on Long Island. There's some really cool places here on yeah. Long Island, and I'm excited to show you guys. I thought we were gonna be able to do that today, but when we couldn't find a real car, we had to hoof it. Had to go to plan B. Plan B. Every time we look at these canals, you would see little baby sea turtles. Right little baby green sea turtles. And they are just enjoying themselves in this nice clean water that's flowing back and forth from the salt ponds to the open ocean. The wind is picking up and it looks like there could be some major rain in these clouds. So we are going to hustle, get back to the dinghy so we can get back to the boat. And with that, we will see you guys later. Mm -hmm. 